people, welcome back to my channel. So I have another kind of show and tell video today. If you saw my previous video where I showed you my Dragons of the First Task sculpture from Noble Collection, then you would have known that I kind of hinted to this being my next video. So I was just surfing the net the other day and I saw this Harry Potter pop-up book, which I never saw before. They showed a video of all the little sections and there was a grand finale at the end and I was just like, Oh my God, I need this. A little disclaimer, I know this was released last year. If any of you have this book already, then you would know. It came out last year, I didn't know this, which is why I'm only sharing it now. So, you know, if this video isn't very popular, I know that's why. Might as well show it to you. So yeah, here is the book. It has a beautiful front cover, it says, from the films of Harry Potter, a pop-up guide to Hogwarts. And yeah, like I said, on the website, there was a video showing all of the little sections. And yeah, I just got so excited about the prospect of owning this. It is actually quite huge. And you expect this to be heavy because it's so big, but because it's all like folded up bits of paper, it's not actually that heavy, it's reasonably light. There is the back, it's like the other side of Hogwarts. In fact, if you actually pull the book out and you see all of the back, it's just an extension. So you have the viaduct bridge there on the spine and on the back here we have the Quidditch pitch there's the Owlery, Hagrid's Cabin there. Yeah, that's really nice, it's really pretty. I also have a, another book to share with you guys, which I bought at the same time, because, you know, come up with, you may also like, or similar items kind of thing, and it is, from the films of Harry Potter, Creatures, a paper scene book. So yeah, I, th this really appealed to me as well, and I thought I'd share it with you in this video as well. But we're doing this one first, because I just think this is gonna be so cool, so, so cool. There's already stuff going down on the first page, so here we go. It's Hogwarts. Look at that, that is so cool. It's little pop-up Hogwarts, that is so cool. I mean, obviously it doesn't compare to my Noble Collection Hogwarts castle at the back here, obviously, <laughs> but it's still really cool for a, for a, pop-up castle for the detailing for what's in it yeah like I said really cool so at the front here we have the courtyard there's the clock tower there's actually people on the side so there's like two wizards on the side here I'm gonna show you in like close-ups there are little sections to read about it oh and they also pop up <gasps> That's cool, so as I say, there, there's little sections on each corner of this page as well. So we have the three heroes, there's a little bit of information about three heroes, I'm not gonna read everything. And you pop it up, and yeah, there's, so we have Hermione holding the time turner. Oh, that's cool, look at that. And little bits of Hermione popping up. We have Harry on flying on his broomstick. We have Ron on the horse when he's a knight in the Philosopher's Stone. Over here is the Great Hall. Over here is the biggest tower, I guess the Astronomy Tower. And on this side of the tower is the Hungarian Horntail that Harry rides on. And you know, they fly around Hogwarts in the film. They fly around Hogwarts. And yet there's a little Harry hanging there. That's so cool. This is really nice. Here's the main courtyard down here. There's another pop-up section little bit here that says the Hogwarts houses. What's this then? Ah, oh, oh, that's really cool. So we have Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Gryffindors over here. This says pull, so I'm just gonna pull it. And it says, curiosity, learning, wisdom, pride, ambition, cunning, patience, loyalty, hard work, the main traits of each of the houses. Oh, that's so cool. This is this is a pop-up book that just keeps on surprising you, keeps on giving. The fat lady is here. It says pull, so you pull it. Oh, I don't want to break it. It's not it's not working. Or just open the door because it doesn't really pull. I don't want to rip it. And there's Fred, George, and Luna inside Gryffindor Tower. And there's some other portraits all along here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's another section. There's another section. Oh, it just, it just keeps on surprising me. So yeah, here is Dumbledore in his office. There is Fawkes the Phoenix. On the table here, there's a chocolate frog, a marauder's map, his pensieve, and yeah, just just his his office. It's so detailed, it's so cool. Okay, that's, that's just the first page and I'm already just like, oh my God. It's so fascinating how that happens. 
I've never really appreciated pop-up books before, but Harry Potter one is good as this. Okay, the next page. More sections of the castle. So what do we have here? Okay, here, okay so here are the greenhouses. More towers, basically, that need to be kind of attached better. Again, yeah, I, I know like some of the bits are kind of wonky, but that's fine, it's, it's paper and it's a pop-up book. It's not meant to be like, you're not meant to open the book and it be as good as the, that castle there, you know? On this side, we have Tom Riddle's diary, which I'm gonna open up. And there's Salazar Slytherin from the Chamber of Secrets. And there's Harry, a little Tom Riddle, young Tom Riddle that says, I am Lord Voldemort. That's cool. There's a secret door here, which I'm guessing, yep, yeah, is the room of requirement. There's Neville fighting one of those um, things. Moving on to the next section, which I think is Quidditch. Okay, way, oh yes, it's the Quidditch pitch. We have people flying, obviously it's connected because they can't actually fly in a paper pop-up book. The stands popped up all around, you see a bit of Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and again, like, there's, there's people in the pitch, there's the three goal hoops. It's just so cool, there's another pop-up bit here, which says the Triwizard Tournament, okay? Oh, that is cool, that is cool. Okay, so we have the four Hogwarts champions, Fleur, Harry, Cedric, and Crumb, and the Hungarian Horntail there as well. That's so cool. I, I, I'm sorry, I keep saying that a lot, but it genuinely is so cool. And on this side it says Dementors on the Quidditch pitch, so if I just pop that out. And here we go, we have the Order of the Phoenix. So we have members of the Order. There is Mad-Eye Moody, Shacklebolt, and Tonks. There is also a black dog, which I'm guessing if you pull it, turns into Sirius Black. Yep, there you go. Azkaban style Sirius Black. Another section here we have is a very snowy Hogsmeade. One thing that kind of annoys me a little bit about the films is that they always made Hogsmeade snowy. And so like, I think like the Hogsmeade in Orlando, the Wizarding World. It's all covered in like fake snow, as if it's snowy there all year long. And those of us that read the books know it's not snowy there all year long. In the book when Harry's throwing snowballs at Draco and his crew under the cloak in the third film, in the book is actually mud because it's not snowy in the book that time of year. But it still looks pretty cool, I guess, so I, I can't really complain. Anyway, a very snowy Hogsmeade. Can we tell which shops these are? Yeah, we have a little Honey Dukes. Glad Rags Wizard Wear. Tea and Cake. Madam Pod Puddle Puddlefoot? P Puddle, whatever her name is. I don't know, there's a wanted poster there for Sirius Black. <gasps> Ooh. The Shrieking Shack is up here. Looking all menacing and cool. You can look at something like this for hours and still just dis discover things each time. It is, it's something you need to have a proper in-depth look at. Yeah, we have a pop-up Marauder's map here. This is getting more difficult now. So I've just tried to unravel the Marauder's map and we have Harry and Peter Pettigrew walking down the corridor together and, it, and their little footsteps move as you move the Marauder's map. Again, cool. So cool. That's the Hogsmeade section. What could possibly be next? The Forbidden Forest, of course. Yeah, the Forbidden Forest is right here and Hagrid's cabin with his pumpkin patch right here. Just pop him up a bit more securely. There we go. Can you open the door? Yes, you can. You can open the door and you can see a little Hagrid inside. I see a little Hagrid. Um, he's still huge. <laughs> There's another pool here for the Ford Anglia which just springs up, that's cool, and he's being followed by some spiders because that's what happens in canon. There's Aragog, that there is Remus in werewolf form. I can see a unicorn, there's another pop-out bit here. It's Grawp! Say hello, Grawpy! On the other side here is the frozen lake. Ah, oh, the frozen lake, and there's Harry and Sirius being surrounded by Dementors, the Stag Patronus is in there. Oh, that's, oh, it's just so cool. <laughs> and over on this section, there's Umbridge being attacked by all the Thestrals. Oh, this just keeps on giving, doesn't it? Oh, there's, there's unicorns dotted all over the place, actually, which is cool. You know what I'm gonna say? It's cool. 
it's so cool. But yeah, that's not that's not it on this page because we've got two pop-up little sections. So it says the Forbidden Forest and we have another huge Aragog and Harry flying on Buckbeak just behind there. And in this little pop-up, it says the final battle, Harry dueling Voldemort there doing the whole Priory and Cantatum shindig. That, you may think, is the end of the pop-up book. But this book does one more thing to surprise you because actually you can open up all of the sections all in one go. That's the bit that I saw in the video on the website where I was just like, no, no, I need to get this. This, this is just absolutely phenomenally cool. And like I said, I've never appreciated pop-up books before. So yeah, I had to get it, absolutely absolutely definitely worth it i'm gonna have a proper look at this when i film the overlays for you guys and and see if i can find any more surprises lurking within so that was that book but let's not forget we have a second book to show you guys or i have a second book to show you guys the creatures paper scene book it says introduction with some nice images of festrals and I th I'm guessing that's Harry and Luna there. I'm not sure. And the next page says the Forbidden Forest and the quote from Luna again. And if you pull it out properly, you have a very beautiful 2D, 3D, do you want to know my dimensions? We have a very beautiful 3D image of the Forbidden Forest. This is the same as the front cover, but it's better because it's 3D. You have lots of layers. So on the front layer, we have Thestrals. There is Luna and Harry with another Thestral. The stag surrounded by all the trees, the unicorn and Hogwarts at the back there as well. That's really nice. I like that a lot. So next up, there's just some information on the Forbidden Forest. You are known to many creatures here. The forest is not safe at this time, especially for you. Friend said that to Harry Potter. Uh, a little bit on centaurs, acromantulas, unicorns, festivals there with some more beautiful artwork. The artwork, it doesn't actually say who did the illustrations in this. Anyway, the next page, dragons. Dragons, that's the first task. You're joking. Harry says that in Goblet Fire. And here's the next pop-up scene. So we have Harry flying on his broomstick and the Hungarian Horntail in the background there. The Hungarian Horntail seems to keep popping up in my videos. <laughs> I guess that's Hog bits of Hogwarts Castle there as well, and it's all red because he's pouting out fire. Yeah, that's, that's really cool actually. And you can see the different like towers all around. The next page, there is some more information on dragons. So we have the Norwegian Ridgeback, Dragons of the Triwizard Tournament. I have to admit that Horntail is a right nasty piece of work. Hagrid says that to Harry. Um, yeah, Dragons of the Triwizard Tournament. If you haven't seen my last video, I share with you the sculpture from Noble Collection. Nice little plug there for you. The next scene is the Black Lake. Welcome to the second task. Last night, something was stolen from each of our champions, a treasure of sorts. These four treasures, one for each champion, now lie on the floor of the Black Lake. Ooh. That was obviously Dumbledore speaking in Goblet Fire. So this is underwater during the second Trial Wizard task. We have Harry. We know he's Harry because we see the glasses and the thunderbolt in the foreground and also a Grindy Low there. There are some more Grindy Lows in the second bit. And on the scenery bit at the back, there is the Mer Village. Was that what it was called? And can you see the captives? Yep, floating in the background there, the three captives, because I guess at this time, Cedric had already come and got Hermione. They're just so cool, the fact that you can just move around like that, and it is like a 3D image. I do really like these books. On the next page here, we have bits of information, as usual. The Black Lake, just south of Hogwarts Castle. It talks about how Fleur and Cedric used the bubblehead charm. There's the golden egg. Mer people, Myrtle. There aren't mer people in the Black Lake, are there? Oh, very good. It took Cedric ages to figure it out. Almost all the bubbles were gone. I can't for the life of me do an impression of Myrtle. <laughs> I'll leave that to Brizzy Voices. She does a really good impression of Myrtle. And on the final page, we have dark creatures. Dementors are among the foulest creatures to walk the earth. They feed on every good feeling, every happy memory, until the person is left with absolutely nothing but its worst experiences. Professor Lupin says that in The Prisoner of Azkaban. But here is a very dark image. So on the foreground, we have, it's very black. We have Dementors, then we have purple Dementors next to that, just circling the Quidditch pitch. It's just really nice. It's just really nice. 
I like it, it's really cool. And then on the final page here, dark creatures. So it talks about Dementors, the Basilisk, and Inferi, which are very dark and Hor horrifying creatures when you really think about it. And that is the end of that book. Again, another beautiful book, beautifully illustrated book, and another one you can just keep looking at over and over again. And that's the end of the video. Please let me know what you thought of these books. Do you own them? Have you, like me, never seen them before? Are you gonna buy them now because I've showed them to you? They are quite expensive, especially this one, but it's worth every penny. You, you can see the detailing, how good it is. Yeah, I definitely recommend both books, but especially this one. It's just so, so good. Um, but yeah, like I said, let me know what you guys thought. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to leave a like, because that would mean a lot to me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already, then why not subscribe? Join my little magic corner. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.